Good morning, everyone. Have you ever wanted to learn how to play guitar and play in front of a large group of people and impress them when all eyes are on you? Well, I know that feeling, and it's a good feeling to have. I play in a band around at, um, Wichita in my hometown, and we play at places like Mead's Corner, Donut Hole, and Scenery. And it's always good meeting new people through music as well. Um, today I'm going to talk about two different types of guitars, how to play guitar, and different types of music throughout the years um, through rock and roll. First I'm going to start out with the bass guitar. The bass guitar has four strings that are tuned to E, A, D, and G, and there are thicker strings than guitar strings, obviously. Um, in the 1930s, Paul Tutmark um, made the bass guitar, and it, and it came out around those years, according to LearnBassGuitar.info. But later in the 1950s, Leo Fender invented the uh, precision bass, and that's when it started to really um, increase sales for um, bass guitars and stuff. Um, bass guitars, most bass guitars are fretted, which um, are when the frets are the little uh, metal bars across the neck of the bass guitar, and it's um, you can uh, play play easier that way and stuff like that. There's also um, unfretted bass guitars, which are most notably used for like jazz and stuff like that. Um, headless bass guitars, which are um, there's no stock and there's no tuning pegs. That also, um, bass guitars can have up to five to twelve strings. So I thought that was an interesting fact. Um, there's three ways to play the bass guitar as well. You can pick it, which is a thicker pick, um, and you strike down, unless you're playing power chords, which you can strike up and down, but usually you just strike down with the pick. You can use two fingers for like rhythm and stuff and complicated rhythms. And there's also slapping, which you hit your thumb across the string um, pretty hard, and then you pull up with your index finger. Um, now I'm gonna talk about the electric guitar. The electric guitar has six strings that are tuned to E, A, D, G, B, and E, with the last E being a higher octave. Um, you can use the fret, fifth fret to tune the guitar, except for the B and uh, last A string as well. Um, <coughs> George Butchamp increased the volume of guitars in the 1930s, according to guitardomain.com. Um, pickups are, are what's on the body of the guitar and they, they transfer the sound from the strings through the amplifier. And you can have um, two different kinds of pickups as well, or three different kinds. You can have single and double coil pickups, and single coil pickups are just like small magnets that are like six in a row, and um, you can have up to like three of those as well. Um, you can also have humbuckers, which are large magnets on the body of the guitar, and they're more sensitive to sound, according to ultimateguitar.com. Now I'm going to teach you how to play some basic things on guitar. Uh. Okay, first I'm going to start out with major chords, which are G, C, B, and A. And then there's also minor chords, such as A minor, and E minor. You also have, um, F sharp, um, B, B flat, and then um, there's also power chords, which are just simple. And then um, there's also more complicated than that is, is bar chords, which is more than just two strings. And then um, you also have arpeggios, which are three. Um, notes played simultaneously. So like, and you can like incorporate both of those as well. Like, um, what else? Oh yeah, there's also different uh, styles of play too, such as like you know harder rock play. Like, Also, like indie guitar rhythm. and stuff like that. There's also like simple pop or <laughs> simple pop melodies. Okay, now that I've taught you the basics, I will teach you the some of the history of rock and roll. Um, Elvis.
Elvis in the 50s was one of the first rock and roll stars incorporating jazz, bluegrass, and country, according to uh, imdb.com. Then later, the Beatles in the 60s um, hit number one in 35 different countries with their singles, also creating a commercial and artistic sense of style in their pop music. Um, they're also one of the best-selling artists of all time, according to Rolling Stone. Other acts include Led Zeppelin in the 70s, incorporating hard rock, Aerosmith and Guns N' Roses in the 80s, um, stadium rock anthems like that, giant stadium. And uh, Nirvana in the 90s, creating uh, the grunge music um, that was uh, already happening in Seattle at the time. So those are just some uh, innovative bands of the decades as well. Um, to conclude, I went over two different types of guitars, how to play guitar, and the different types of music um, in rock and roll. Um, I'd like to close from a quote from Jimi Hendrix saying, Sometimes you want to give up the guitar, you'll hate the guitar, but if you stick with it, you'll be rewarded. Thank you.